हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू सक्सेस एजुकेशन इन दिस वीडियो विल सी दी सोल्यूशन फॉर साइंस जर्नल फॉर स्टैंडर्ड सेवन एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर ट्वेल्व द एम इज टू प्रिपेयर एन इलेक्ट्रो मैगनेट ऑफ द गिवन आयरन नेल द अपैरटस एंड मटीरियल्स आर आयरन नेल इंसुलेटेड वायर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सेल इलेक्ट्रिक स्विच एंड स्मॉल पेंस एंड यू नीड टू ड्रॉ द सेम फिगर ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड विद स्पेस इज गिवन एंड द प्रोसीजर इज Take around seventy-five centimeter long piece of insulated flexible wire and an iron nail, say about six to ten centimeter long. Wind the wire tightly around the nail in the form of a coil. Connect free ends of the wire to the terminals of a cell through a switch as shown in the figure. Place some pins on or near the end of the nail. Now switch on the current. What happens? do the pins cling to the tip of the nail switch off the current are the pins still clinging to the end of the nail observation is the coil of a wire behaves like a magnet when electric current flows through it as a result small pins cling to the end of the nail when electric current is switched off the coil generally loses its magnetism so the small pins fall off the nail and the conclusion is when electric current flows through the coil of an insulated copper wire wound around the iron nail it behaves like a magnet such coils are called electromagnets now test your knowledge question number one is mcqs first one which of the following devices produces electricity its option number b electric cell second which of the following devices works on the principle of magnetic effect of electric current it's option number d electric bell third on which effect of electric current does a fuse work it's option number a thermal fourth in which device heat produced is not desirable it's option number c electric bulb fifth which symbol is used for battery it's option number b so you need to just tick the second uh, option for the answer now question number 2 that is fill in the blanks first one the combination of two or more cells is called a battery second the safety device based on the heating effect of electric current is called a fuse second christian oyster was the first scientist to study the magnetic effect of the electric current fourth the coil used in an electric iron is made of nichrome wire fifth electric bulb was invented by scientist thomas alva edison and here we come to the end of experiment number 12 i hope you have understood the complete experiment if you have any doubts you can write in the comment section i'll surely try to answer all the questions thank you for watching my video and do subscribe my channel for more updates thank you